You know, I always loved food. Give me some McDonald's or KFC. And like most Americans, I'm A and away. And I wake up three days later in a ditch having gained the weight of a newborn baby. Actually, none of that happens. I just made it up for shock value. But the point is, nobody liked food like this guy. John Brower Minnick was born in Seattle in 1941 and always had weight problems. By the age of 12, he weighed 294 pounds, or 133 kilograms, which is heavier than most middle-aged men. By the age of 22, his weight had increased to 394 pounds, or 178 kilograms. Now, I know what you're thinking. That guy has a weight problem, but it's not past the point of no return. And you'd be right. But that's precisely the problem. For John, nobody sent him the message that he needed to get his weight under control. So he just kept eating. He lived a relatively normal life. He went to high school, he got married, and then operated a successful taxi business with himself as the main driver, making him relatively well off. But he faced a unique problem when he woke up one day and could no longer fit in his taxi. His wife eventually brought his weight to his attention because apparently the mirror hadn't done a good enough job of that. So he agreed to get a gym membership. But it turned out there was like a really good Portuguese restaurant next to the gym, which, for a guy like him, posed a real problem. So his wife left him. But by this time, he had become a bit of a local celebrity, and his weight was part of his identity. He got remarried and tried to carry on being normal, eventually having two children. But eventually, it got to the point where he was bedridden. So he got on a diet, but the diet rocked his body and put him into heart and lung failure. He was removed from his house by 17 firemen, who transported him to the hospital on a thick piece of plywood. At the hospital, he laid on two beds, and 13 people were required if he needed to roll over. His weight at that time was 1,400 pounds, or 635 kilograms, and he was at 80% body fat percentage. Doctors put him on an aggressive diet of 1,200 calories per day, consisting exclusively of vegetables. For the first time, something was working. He spent two years in hospital and managed to get from 1,400 pounds down to 476 pounds or 216 kilograms, which was the biggest ever recorded weight loss. But being discharged from the hospital, this guy hadn't learned his lesson. His weight quickly ballooned again. By the time of his death in 1983, he weighed about 786 pounds or 362 kilograms. Wow. That's just a really sad story. But anyway, now I have the tiring job of trying to find a moral in it. I guess the moral is, uh, watch what you eat. In fact, to be on the safe side, just don't eat anything at all. That's sound advice.